create different colors for your controls, also known as your icons. So we'll create a few of these. Let's do a square first. This will be moved to the right side. This will be moved to the left side. And then what we'll do is create one for the center, which we'll scale that down. This is a perfect way to learn this before you start actually doing it on the actual model so you can learn the difference. We'll create a circle. Just scale that up. Move this down. We'll duplicate that and we'll put the other circle over there. So this is our right side. This is our left side. And this is our center. This is our center. You know what? Let me duplicate this one as well. So these are our centers. We can basically identify it as our spine. I'll identify it as our spine for now because if this was a character, this would be along their spine. And this is for the right side. This is for the left side. So what you want to do is if it's for the center, such as my spine, this is our spine, you'll go to Control A. You'll click Control A and then this will pop up under Drawing Overrides. Click Enable Overrides, and what you could do is change the color of the spine. I'll do mine as red. No, actually, you know, let's do ours as green, light green, whatever. Oops, I did not select all of them. Redo that. Green. Okay, so now our spine is green, right? So that is telling the animator that this is the center central control for the right side say if you wanted to do this uh, square as blue oh whoops let's change it to the other blue the light blue why is it doing that to the light blue there we go oh my goodness let me just click it like that. It's better if you do that. Light blue. <gasps> okay. Something's going on here. Okay. It's not letting me do it all at once. Okay. But anyway. So if you do the right side as this blue, you do not. You do not want to change this to some random color. Like You do not want to do that because then it's going to confuse the animator. Some models do have that, but it's just very confusing. So what you should do so that the animator isn't you know, confused, you need to do it the same color as the top, as the whole right side. There's gonna be more than two of these. So you're gonna do all of them of the same color. For the left side, select these. Hopefully it colors right this time. You want to do it as total different color and my square did not select kind of figured that was gonna happen um, there we go so the left side would be red right side would be blue and the spine central area will be green that's just for my model or for this example if you have an actual model the whole right side the hand the feet the leg the, everything on the right side will have to be one solid, solid color. You can do it other colors, like you could make the hand control blue, the foot control orange, or you know, or whatever colors they have there. That can tell the animator that they are separate controls, but for the same side. So the left foot could be blue, the right foot could be blue, the right hand could be orange, the left hand could be orange, stuff like that, you can do that but I would recommend doing one whole side solid color, another whole side solid color, and the central solid color, because it actually helps the animator determine what's what a little bit easier. So that's how you change it. And again, to create them, you go over here and circle square. And remember, push control A and you know go to drawing overrides. That's how you change it.